What if I told you there's a free tool that can generate over 100 AI videos in a single click? No trials, no credit card, no daily limits. Sounds fake, right? This is exactly what I thought. While everyone was talking about Sora 2 and the future of AI videos, something else was happening quietly in the background. And that is Meta AI. Well, Meta AI has evolved so much, Meta AI can now generate videos in bulk. That means you write your prompts only once and it creates hundreds of AI shots automatically. Well, channels using this system are already producing animated stories at scale. Some of them are generating tens of thousands of dollars every month. By the end of this video, you will know how to just bulk create YouTube shots, reels and videos using Meta AI automation system that most people still have no idea that it exists. So let's get started. The first thing that you have to do is just go to the link in the description. You can see this document, you will find this document and it contains everything, all the links and everything that we need to get this done. So the first thing that we need is the extension, which is automatic extension. Just click on this link and it will take you to this extension and you have to click on, you know, add to extension. It could be your Chrome, whatever the browser that you're using, but I would suggest Chrome or the Brave. Just click on it and it will start downloading the extension. And let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna be adding this extension as well in our browser because this is important. Now it has uh, downloaded the extension and now it is going to uh, install the extension on the browser. We can see that in a bit as well. See, it is uh, already uh, you know installed. We can simply go back and go click on this one and pin this extension so that we can see it always here. We can simply click on it, but right now uh, you won't see anything because it only works on the Meta AI page. So we'll be closing this for now. And the second thing we need to go to the Meta AI. Just go ahead and click on that one, this link. And this will be uh, taking you to the Meta AI page, but I will just let you know one thing. You will not be able to access it if you don't have a Facebook. If you have Facebook account, you have to use the Facebook account to log in this. Once you have the account uh, logged in and then you click on this link and then it will take you to this page. Just uh, whatever comes in, you know, like uh, give it a name or something, just write it down. And then after that, you are done. Then you will be on this page and in this page, even if you're on this uh, search page, uh, it will not work. You you have to click on be on the create page or you have to simply click on once you're logged into the Meta AI, then you can simply click on this Meta AI link here. It will take you to this page and then this extension is going to work and check this out. Here you go, Automata and you can see the extension, control settings, history and everything, the prompt list, image list and everything. Okay, so now uh, we uh, need to get started with this one. We need to create stories. So for that thing, first of all, we need a story generator GPT. It's a custom GPT, somebody designed it. And like the uh, Automata somebody else has designed, it's a very great, this tool is insane. Uh, I think it says Duck Martians. A huge shout out to Duck Martians as well, who designed this insane tool. It's really helpful. And then, uh, once we click on this um, story generator, it will take you to, to this GPT. And then in here, we can st get started with a story. Okay, so I have given up some prompts that we need. So here I'm going to be generating a story about a pet dog, about 40 seconds. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just click that. It is going to generate a story based on this information. Once it does, okay, uh, all right, great. Okay, a story about a pet dog. It it has started the uh, story generation progress. Okay, that's cool. Now we need to uh, rewrite, you know, rewrite the script in the 3D Pixar style. That's the style that we're going in, going for. So just go ahead and paste this. And it's going to rewrite the whole script based on this uh, 3D Pixar style. And after that, um, what we can do is we can sli uh, simply clean up the prompts, but first we have to see all the prompts, okay? Let's check this out. So we have got all the prompts and everything for our story. Perfect.
okay perfect perfect now uh we need we can see sometimes it's big sometimes it's small you know uh, the prompts it kind of messes it up so i have this another prompt which kind of cleans up the prompt and everything so we can just simply go ahead and uh, it has this eight seven six these numbers we need a clean text just go ahead and just paste this another prompt and it will be giving you the entire prompt without the uh, just all of those things like you know right now you might see this like this but sometimes this gives you the prompt it says prompt one prompt two three four five so we don't need that text so it cleans up the text in this way so we can simply go ahead and copy this and go back to our meta ai and then in here we can simply open up this here and after that see we have two ways to do it either we go with an image uh, to video or we can go with uh, text to video but here right now we're going to be using this one uh, this one a simple one a text to video here we're going to be downloading the all you know uh, prompts one you know at once and then we're going to be click on the start once we start every single prompt is going to be executed in here and after that we have to change in here as a video because we want this to be a video here right and then you paste in the prompts you click on start it is going to generate every single prompt one by one it's it's even also going to download the video itself so you can see here settings you can see the auto download videos also is open you can configure the folder if you want that's not up that's up to you but point here is let's go ahead and do that let's up you know upload the folder let me, let me just change it i think i'm gonna be using a new folder for this one give me a second okay i'm gonna be using this folder perfect and then go back to the meta ai and then yes we are done with the folder go back to controls and then hit start once we hit start it's going to paste in all of the prompts one by one it's going to start generating a video you can see that in a moment here it's preparing the environment as you can see here it's not going to take that point of time depends on the story since our story has 10 prompts so i don't think it is going to take time and this way uh, we have options to do we don't have to do anything it's all completely uh, on autopilot we, we don't want to do something about it and uh, it's like you know um, it saves your time see it has already generated the four videos for one single prompt and this way it gives you the options to uh, select the videos it's not like you know it's not only going to generate a one video for each prompt you have variety you have options because if you don't like the first one you can go with the second one if you don't like the second one you can go with the third one you know what i'm saying so it's going to go like that and it's also going to start the videos downloading you can see it has downloaded a couple of the videos check this out it is still downloading the videos and we can simply see here the video uh, we can play it directly that's really nice right perfect it's still going on we have this dog video i think it's really cute this is exactly like a pixar style and after that uh, once the story is completely generated i mean the complete video uh, is generated we can simply go ahead and generate the audio and for the audio it depends on you what service that you are going to use for an audio if you want it completely for free there are like you know a bunch of tools that you are going to use you know and you can go for 11 labs you can go for gemini which is completely free uh, for lifetime but i i somehow like you know don't like gemini um, because the voice the quality of the voice is not that great i would say but i will show you one tool which is going to give you uh, free uh, generations um, for you to generate any kind of audio also the better way uh, best way for that is 
going to be uh, the um, the cloning voice. By the way, it's a extra thing uh, for you guys. It was not supposed in this video, but still, uh, since it's uh, giving you this thing, so the the tool name is gonna be Involved AI, which is going to give you the audio generation things. So let's wait. It's still going on. Until then, I think we are almost done at seven prompts. Perfect, perfect. Okay, and let's go back to this here until it opens. Till then, we'll see what's going on here. Okay, so we have got this prompt. Okay, crazy. It's like he's talking to the dog, just giving him something, and then. Okay, I think the story looks really good. I guess. Well, let's see how it turns out. So something happened. I mean, my internet is not working well today. I don't know. So that's why it's taking time to load. So let's wait. We're almost done at eight prompts. And yeah, by the way, the, uh, our script is basically this. Every morning, Milo waited for the door with the tail thumbing like a drum. That is our script. We can simply copy this for now and open the uh, inworld, click on get started or login. You will be on uh, this page. You have to log in and then yes, you are going to be on this page. And here, just simply click on TTS Playground. You can see directly in here and then directly go ahead and just paste the prompt. And I'm gonna be using this Sarah's voice for now. I, I, I don't know it's good or bad, but I, I, it was already selected, okay? So let me just try and generate this voice. Let's see how it goes. Ah, uh, no, 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 I don't like it. It's kind of fast. We have different voices. You know, this is my, you know, this my cloned voice. Uh, actually, let's try this. I think it's good. Deborah? I think this one goes well with the stories, you know? And by the way, we are done with the generations and we're done with downloading all of the things. It's crazy, I guess, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and generate this voice in this, in, you know, for Deborah. Let's go ahead and generate. Every morning, Milo waited by the door with his tail thumping like a drum. He was a small brown dog with bright eyes and a heart far bigger than his paws. When his owner, Sam, came home tired from school. I think this is a pretty good voice. Seriously, I'm gonna simply download it. Like without any question, I like it. It kind of goes with the video, kind of goes with the story. It's very calm, soothing, yes. All right, so now uh, since we are kind of uh, done with all of the videos, and now it is time to just go ahead and edit the video. See, there are ways to do it, but um, there are different ways of uh, making the video. One is the automated way, but I don't uh, prefer that because that way you will not have control over the videos. Uh, so it kind of messes it up. So we are gonna be using a simple one. I'm gonna be using the Filmora, or you can use, uh, I would say, Film CapCut, or you can use Premiere Pro. I think the Filmora one is the, gonna be the best one for this. It's easy to, uh, you know, just make a video. So just give me a second. I am going to open the Filmora, so I'll show you how this looks. All right, so I have imported all of the videos and the audio as well uh, in the Filmora here in the editor. You can just do the same thing with the CapCut or any editor of your choice. So simply just drag and drop the audio directly in the timeline. And this is the audio. It's all about um, 43 seconds, I guess. Yes. So let's go ahead and match the clips with the audio. So I'm going to be using this clip uh, as the video for the first here. And after that, let me just play. So as you can see here, the the editing is almost done. I mean, I think it's completely done. I didn't do, uh, you know, 
a really accurate editing just for just you know for the video and because it's gonna take time then otherwise uh, so I just tried to match the visuals and it's perfectly fine for for now and what you can do is simply add some or background and audio and also you can just add some transitions as well if I go with the transitions every morning Milo waited by the door with his tail thumping like a drum he was a small brown dog with bright eyes and a heart far bigger than his paws. When his owner, Sam, came home tired from school, Milo always knew. He'd drop his favorite squeaky toy at Sam's feet and sit quietly, as if saying, I'm here. One rainy afternoon, Sam felt especially sad. Without being called, Milo climbed onto the couch and rested his head on Sam's lap. No words, no tricks, just warmth and steady breathing. Slowly, Sam smiled. That night, as Milo curled up at the foot of the bed, Sam realized something important. Life felt easier with a loyal friend who loved him every single day.